This is number three about uh, overheating a new radiator. I did get a new radiator. I got this Champion radiator. It's made for an economy. As you can see, this end right here is on the outside. Oh, it's where it needs to be. Most of the radiators I looked at had the flange here. That like a million. Finally, I got this one. Uh, so it was. I measured from this hole on my original radiator up to that one right there. Where is she? There it is. That's about nine inches or so. And then I just put a new hole there, and I put it up against there. And you got to be accurate when you when you do it. Uh, and it, it basically it'll go up bolt end. Now over on this side, you'll see. Let me get in there. All right. The the flange is long enough. It's a little narrow, narrower than the than uh, our radiators, just a tiny bit. But it does catch on this. What I did was I made a little uh, bridge there. It would go in the hole, and then it would go in the hole on this frame here. And you can tighten it down. It's pretty easy to do. I just used a, an L bracket and drilled another hole and sawed it off. I wanted to show this because you might wonder about how you put it in. There's a lot of room here to get the radiator out. I use this right here. When I put the radiator in place, you know, so I don't, I can just kind of uh, hold it there while I put it in and screw it in. It's very easy, actually. And I have the power jacked, of course, and I have some things under it. These are the wires I ran for the fan. And I am going to use the fan uh, in my other video. Let me go up the top now and just show you real quick uh, how it looks above. All right, I'm coming around. All right. Okay, now here's a consideration I want to talk about. Uh, this area here where... And you'll notice this is on a different side of normally it's over here the uh, the inlet but because I wanted to get that outside flange this model is the only one that had the uh, you know with the inlet on the passenger side what I did was I, I flipped this right here and trimmed this hose and it fit right in there so I decided to do that because I really want to have this flange on the outside. The guy at Champions recommended this uh, uh, radiator because there's ones for the Falcon that are the same size, but the this flange, again, this flange is over here instead of here. Let's show the original radiator right now. Oh yeah, one other thing here. You got to be aware of this clearance, really. My, my, this little support here was bent up on mine. I think if it wasn't bent up, this wouldn't fit. So I'll talk about that when we look at my uh, radiator. Okay, here's the original radiator. This is what I'm talking about, the flange here. So what you do is you, you measure from this hole on the bottom to this hole. And then that's the distance they have to be apart. If I had it to do over, I would probably move up about to there, like maybe an inch up or right there maybe, and then move this an inch up, it's the same distance. That way you'd have better clearance on the um, hose. But that's just after the fact. Mine did fit, no problem. And here's the radiator box, champion. Here's the model. It's a three-core aluminum radiator. The Champion guy said uh, that it worked real good. Now I have had this in uh, in my van already, and I ran it, and it only ran at 190. It ran 10 degrees cooler. That's why I'm gonna put this fan on it when I take it out and um, see if that make it run a little cooler. I'm beginning to think that there's not much I can do about it. I mean, it's New Orleans. It's like 95 degrees. Uh, but anyway, I'm just putting this up there, and I hope it helps some people. Take care.
I'll have it. The next video will be the final one. It'll be with the fan on. My final thoughts on this.